All right, I'm with Ken Reed with Exercise for Learning, and we're at the DuPage uh, County Physical Activity uh, Physical Education Conference, uh, in named uh, named after Phil Lawler. Um, you're going to be speaking a little bit later about Phil, but we I wanted to ask you today why is it so important for physical educators to know about the importance of exercise impact on the brain? Okay, well. This is the whole new frontier with physical education because for years physical education has kind of been a spoke of the wheel of education, but with the research we know about exercise in the brain, PE should actually be the hub of the wheel because there's a triad of benefits now that are all critical to learning. Not only is physical education when it's done properly with a fitness-based orientation, personalized for students, important for health and wellness, but fit students perform uh, better academically. I mean, there's been multiple studies that show almost a direct correlation between fitness levels and academic achievement. Secondly, is all the current research showing uh, fitness's impact, positive impact on behavioral issues, mood, uh, lower stress, lower anxiety, higher self-esteem, more focus, more attention. So you got students that are fit coming in with their brain ready to learn and they also are ready to uh, take on multiple subjects. A lot of schools now, are, their counselors are telling them to take their hardest academic subject immediately following physical education, and their grades have improved dramatically that way. So it, it's a critical turning point in the, not just physical education, but the world of education as a whole. Can you speak of like maybe one story, a particular student, that you, uh, exemplary student that you can say, oh, this is what we did and this, these are the impacts it, it's had on their learning, their, their behavior or anything like that. Can you think of one story? Well, that yeah, be there's a, a lady that's doing great things in Canada actually named Allison Cameron and she's working at a school that is some of the most challenging students in the district. Most of them are one and a half or two grades below or their academic levels, reading levels, et cetera, about one and a half, two grades below where they should be. And so they, she actually brought in a bunch of uh, treadmills into her classroom and had these students initially walking and then running while they were doing some of these subjects and saw dramatic improvement not only in their behavior but their grades. So it, it, the, to me it's exciting for everybody, but it's this exercise for learning concept is basically really targeted for people that have ADHD, other emotional behavioral problems, because it brings, it's, it's a tool for them to get up to the level of their peers through exercising before class, at lunchtime, or in after school. Ken, thank you so much for your help, and uh, we look forward to more of your great speeches, and look forward to reading your book as well. Well, yeah, a book I wrote on Phil Aller, who's really a pioneer in this new PE. It's called Game Changer. You can get it through PE for Life's website or on Amazon whatever, but he, he was a pioneer in this, and, and through his story you can learn a lot about what you're going to face and the hurdles you're going to have to overcome. But I just want to close with you physical education folks that uh, you're entering at a great time because physical education is going to change what we know about uh, the world of education. Great. Thanks, Ken. Yeah.